Naresh Kumar, a truck driver, regularly undertakes 60-hour round trips on the busy highways of India. His cargo is precious and so is his life. But now, a silent partner rides shotgun, warning him in case he tires and is distracted. The machine is a very good thing. It 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 is a very और पहले पहले लगा था तो हमको लगा था कि वो क्या चीज़ लग गया हमको इससे असुविधा होता था लेकिन तो आस्ते आस्ते इसका आदत हो गया तब इसका हिसाब से हम चलने लगे तब तो सही लग रहा है और ये है कि पहले होता था एक्सीडेंट होता था तो बड़ा गाड़ी के वाला का वैसा गलती होता था और अभी इसका लगने से ये पता चलेगा कि बड़ा गाड़ी का गलती है या छोटा गाड़ी की गलती है आगे कोई भी ऐसा कोई बात होगा तो मेरा कैमरा रिकॉर्ड करके मेरा बॉस तक मेरा मालिक तक पहुँच जाएगा सही सलामत The driver eye is an AI and computer vision driven technology to enhance fleet safety and driver performance. The Made in India product is the brainchild of engineers Avnish Agrawal and David Julian, long-time colleagues at a US Semiconductors and Wireless Technology MNC. Hi, this is Avnish Agrawal, co-founder and CEO of Netadyne. We are on a mission to use technology to reduce accidents and save lives. My name is David Julian. I'm the CTO and co-founder at Netradyne, where we are using advanced AI and best in breed AI to transform the transportation ecosystem to really improve safety and automation. I would say our biggest North Star right now is just reducing the number of accidents. Plain and simple, right? Here at Netradyne, we're really hyper-focused on innovation. Uh, we see that we can really make huge differences in the market, and that's where we lead with our, our, our technology and really setting and resetting the industry best practices and raising the bar continuously. Netodyne is unlike most startups. Its founders are experienced corporate veterans with over 300 patents between them and extensive experience of managing people and billion dollar enterprises. When setting up the company in 2015, they initially intended to focus on autonomous driving technology, but the vision swiftly evolved to culminate into its flagship product, DriverEye, launched just a year later. Our core product is with respect to driver eye safety. So the product is essentially a device with cameras, but one of the cameras looking outside on the road, exactly what the driver sees. The other camera is looking at the driver. The camera that is looking outside the, uh, at the road is essentially running the same perception stack of autonomous driving. What it means is it's tracking every single object on the road through computer vision algorithms right at the edge it's tracking the relationship between all of these objects, which could be people, which could be cars, which could be lanes, roads, you name signs, everything, right? And based on that, it's creating its own formulation of what's considered safe driving. We also have an inward facing camera that's essentially checking if the driver is distracted, if the driver's talking on the phone, if the driver is drowsy. And during those incidents, we alert the driver to ensure they take the proper and correct safe action. And the results are fantastic, right? Through all our fleets, we are seeing almost a 50% reduction in accidents, almost an 80 to 90% reduction in distracted driving. Uh, from the very beginning, the industry had a, uh, a certain approach that was based on a very manual process, uh, and we were really able to up-level it by bringing AI and the ability to really watch drivers and look at a 360-degree view of what they're doing. Uh, very early on, we were able to get uh, trials going with a number of different partners. And through those trials, uh, we found that we were getting data that was very informative to really help coach and improve driver safety 
uh, and driver uh, per performance. Uh, and not only that, we also found very early on that being driver positive and looking for where the driver's doing extra positive things was very differential. We're deployed into school buses, helping our children to be safer on the roads. I see one of my packages are delivered that driver is there in the last mile vehicles, getting uh, the driver safely to to my house to deliver the packages. And it's very easy to see driver eyes out on the road today and, and just the incredible lives that are being saved and the impact that's being had across the industry. With its breakthrough solution that provides real-time interventions for commercial fleets, the company has rapidly expanded its global footprint to thousands of fleets across India, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. The company's strategic decision to establish two teams and simultaneously train AI algorithms on driving conditions in both India and the United States fueled its swift growth, granting it a unique competitive edge. And the results speak for themselves. Netodyne achieved a revenue of rupees 600 crore in the last financial year and currently employs over 700 people. It has raised over $250 million in funding. When you're developing a product with that level of complexity, it's all about people getting together and building that system. Uh, we were fortunate, we had a very strong founding team and that entire team is 100% intact with us. So all I can say is, is in the, at the end, right, as, as a tech entrepreneur, your asset is your team. We had this vision right from day one to create a global company with a global presence and also to design and make in India. Now when I look back, obviously there's a sense of pride with what we've accomplished, but also a sense of amazement at what we've accomplished because at that time when we had that vision, we had no idea how difficult it would be to execute on that vision, right? It's, it's, they often say, right, uh, ignorance is bliss. And as a startup entrepreneur, sometimes that gets you going, right? I was, I was involved in mobile industry, but I was not a manufacturing expert. I had very fleeting understanding of manufacturing. I had a very fleeting understanding of the automotive industry, especially the commercial vehicle industry. All of these were new. They all come with their own sets of challenges. And um, seeing us and our company come, uh, actually overcome all these challenges one by one and continue to grow is very, very rewarding. And there have been valuable lessons along the way. As startups, the world over focus on the road to profitability, sharper product offerings and wider market reach. From my journey, what I've learned is trust is very important as you're building a company because investors have to trust you, employees have to trust you, Customers have to trust you. When you really don't have anything to show, you're actually building the product. And a lot of times the initial product does have issues. So the customer has to trust you to fix those issues as well. And guess what? A lot of times the financial model that you built up initially, it turns out it's too ambitious because you did not factor in a lot of real world issues as you were growing a company with very limited resources. But investors have to trust you that you will fix those and learn and continue to do those things. So I think trust in corporate governance, transparency and trust become very, very important. I'd say it's one of the core pillars of an entrepreneur to really go through the difficult times. You need that circle of trust. Otherwise, if you go alone, it's very, very difficult to sustain the challenges that you have. Meanwhile, Avnish and David continue to push the boundaries at Netodyne as the transport and mobility segments undergo transformative change at a time of unprecedented tech possibilities in the fourth and fifth industrial revolutions. So I think when you look at connected and intelligent vehicles today, uh, our device is able to connect to the uh, network and also is connected within the vehicle and can be a platform that others can ride on top of and really provide that uh, communication level from vehicle to vehicle. In the logistics space, we're able to crowdsource across all of our vehicles and really understand what is the micro weather out there and help fleets with their routing and, and understanding the operational aspects. Understand where are the unsafe hotspots 
uh, that have improved, increased risk and help the drivers anticipate that or help routing algorithms route around those, as well as all sorts of other uh, exciting areas where logistics can really be improved in, in terms of efficiency. I think we're really continuing to raise the, the bar on the industry and we find innovative solutions and ways to improve and help our customers uh, every day of the, of the year. When will I see the work being done? I think the answer is fairly simple, never. There's always more things to be done. Um, commercial fleets are not your entire automotive market. Your automotive market is not, not the entire application where safety is important. And obviously we don't have to restrict to safety. We can expand in other areas where our AI, our telematics, our edge compute can offer uh, benefits. So um, I think we're, we're at a very early stage of what we've set out to do. Uh, there's huge opportunities and uh, I don't actually even foresee at any, in the near future, I commenting to myself, oh, I've accomplished what I've set to accomplish. I think I'm fundamentally an ambitious person and ambition drives me. It's very motivating, it's inspiring to me. So I'm pretty sure I'll keep changing the yardstick every year.